And a very pleasant good evening, everybody, and welcome to WRMG TV 12, TV 97's coverage of the Tishomingo County Braves. Hello, everybody. I'm Jack Ivey, along with Scott Webster, and we're live in uh, Choctaw Central High School, home of the champions is what it says. Of course, they've won major, many championships here at Choctaw Central. I'm going to welcome you into our broadcast here today. We've got, of course, TCHS basketball versus Choctaw Central tonight. Got some really, really great sponsors with us here tonight. And if you're out there joining us on the broadcast, we we'll appreciate you being a part of the Ivy Broadcasting Company here tonight. We've got our hands full of trying to get a win here tonight at Choctaw Central. they got a wonderful ball club. And, of course, this team, uh, Belmont, beat in the semifinals last year to get into the finals. But normally you see this team in the championship round. This team, of course, uh, moved up to the 4A classification this year. We've got some special announcements being uh, announced right now, and I'm not sure exactly what they're talking about now, but I want to welcome into our broadcast here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Today's game brought to you by Nunley Trucking Company, Milligan Ready Mix, by Harwell Parts and Service, by Cornerstone Insurance on Fulton Street in Iuka, Steve's Gun and Pun Shop in Tishomingo, by AMC Signs and Lighting, your local sign and lighting company, by El Picante Mexican Restaurant Number Two, by Tiffin Motorhomes. Also, want to thank Hometown Pizza in Iuka and Burnsville. By Explore Liquidations, the big auction coming up in March in Fulton, Mississippi, across from Center Funeral Home. Also, Belmont Chiropractic. Dr. Chris Moss on a broadcast here tonight, serving Belmont and the surrounding areas since 1998. By Geek Express LLC at your business or our store, Computer Sales and Service. They're located at 1417 Battleground Drive in Iuka. Business and residential repair, wired and networking, phone systems and sales and service. They got rural wireless internet services and more Geek Express. And, of course, they are your computer and technology experts. You can call them at 423-9955. Also, big shout-out tonight to Tri-State Crawfish and Catering, located in front of Pickler Wiggly in Iuka. You want live crawfish by the sack, small to medium size, $3 a pound. These are 40-pound sacks. You must order by noon on Wednesday to pick them up on Friday and Saturday. Call or text 662-664-0140. Also, big shout-out tonight to Nikki McCray, your 2nd District Supervisor, says good luck and go Braves. Buy your hometown Piggly Wiggly on a broadcast. Also, H&R Block of Iuka, Red Bay Fulton, your tax professionals. Ronnie Cook, your modern woman agent. By Sid's Trading Company, your landmaster utility vehicle dealer on our broadcast here today. Also on our game today is Daly's Body Shop and Towing. And, of course, uh, Daly's Body Shop and Towing is Mr. James Daly, 15 Yellow Creek Avenue. You can call him at 662-427-9234. They can make your car, truck, or SUV look like new again. Good luck to the Braves from Daly's Body Shop. Also to broadcast is Ryan Properties, 109 East uh, A East, Quitman Street in Iuka. Proud sponsor of the Tishomingo County Braves here in the playoffs, Judy Ryan is your broker, owner, and brings many years of experience to assist you with all your real estate needs. Also on a broadcast here tonight on WRMG, we have, of course, uh, Ryan Properties also got residential land and resort properties available. They've got them right now. Call Judy, 662-279-2189. Of course, you see you there in the background. Here come the Tishomingo County Braves as they get ready to take on Choctaw Central. We're live tonight on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Today's game also brought to you by your Tishomingo County Electric Power Association. By Gina Magnat, your Tishomingo County tax collector. By Hometown Pizza in Iuka. By Iuka Discount Drugs, Pharmacy Drive-In Window. Medication Synchronization, your pharmacists Chris Cornelius and Kurt Butler and Lee Griffin. By Northeast Mississippi Community College. By Pete and Cummings, your Chancery Clerk. Iuka Animal Clinic with Dr. James Perkins. By Brad's Auto Alignment, located in Tishomingo, Iowa 25 South. David Wayne Crum, your Tishomingo County Tax Assessor by MTS, formerly Mississippi Tool Supply. They got your safety apparel, your vest, your shirts, and also custom signs and decals. Also, a big shout out tonight to Gatlin's Pharmacy. They offer free delivery anywhere in Northeast Mississippi, Northwest Alabama, Southwest Tennessee. They got those personalized prescription packs. All your medicines are conveniently packaged a full month at a time and sorted by the date and time. Tishomingo County's best cost saving program. Or Tishomingo County's 340B Pharmacy offering patients hundreds 
in savings each month. See Stanley Page and all the great staff at Gatlin's in Tishomingo. Also, big shout out tonight to Miss Rhonda and Lauren Nunley. They at Prey Pottery in downtown Iuka, proud supporter and a proud supporter of these Lady Braves. They've had an awesome season, and they want to say good luck to the Lady Braves tonight here in the playoffs at Choctaw Central. Also, big shout out tonight to State Farm Insurance agent Boyce Hollandsworth at 214 East Equipment Street in Iuka. Full service insurance, auto, home, life, health, retirement. Come see Boyce Hollandsworth, your State Farm agent, for all your insurance needs at 662. 623-5931. 423-5931. Also, Josh Magnat, your circuit court clerk on our broadcast here tonight. Good luck to our Lady Braves from Josh Magnat and all your staff and the circuit clerk's office. Also, B&J Supermarket and a big sponsor. I think a uh, uh, young lady that's uh, one of the owners there knows what it's like to play for a state championship and get this far and even further, and it takes a lot of drive uh, to make it all happen. And it all starts here tonight. I know we've already done the division tournament. We've played the first round of the north half, but uh, your opportunity to go to Jackson, Mississippi, down the road, you got to win this game right here tonight against Choctaw Central. I know it doesn't get any easier. In the quarterfinals, you're probably going to get Pontotoc over at uh, Mississippi Valley, but uh, it's going to be a, a fun time watching these Lady Braves, not only here tonight, it's going to be a packed house. Most of the Braves are on the other side. We actually thought this was the visitor side, but guess what? It turned out uh, that there's no such thing as a home and visitor side here at Choctaw Central. I want to say how much we appreciate the uh, coaching staff at uh, Choctaw Central. Uh, head coach Bill Smith and, of course, his assistants, uh, Elias Willis. Your managers there is Shemiah Crosby and Dora Samuel. Of course, uh, Coach Bill Smith uh, wanted me to say hello to his son, Andy Smith. He's down in Florida listening and watching the game. And, uh, of course, uh, Coach uh, uh, Andy there says, Jack, I will watch your station all the time. So that makes us feel good that we got folks all over the state of Mississippi, Alabama, and other places that watch our station on TV 12 and TV 97. Once again, you got to do me a favor. Now, I'm telling you up front, the Internet is terrible here inside the gym. So that means that uh, it may not be as good as we want it to be uh, online tonight on our Facebook Live. Right now, I think it's okay, but uh, that could change. Don't panic. Don't send me nasty messages. There's nothing I can't do about it, and uh, or nothing I would if I could, but there's nothing I can do. And uh, once again, an honor to have you on the broadcast here tonight at WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Once again, it's the Tishomingo County Lady Braves and Choctaw Central getting ready to tangle here. And, of course, the Braves still without, of course, Claire Garland. She's out for the season. That young lady would love to be out there tonight, but uh, it's not going to happen. She is, uh, her season is over. And uh, she teared up talking to us earlier, and uh, she wants to be out there so bad. She said, I think I'll take this boot off, and then I'll fix it back and want to go back to the doctor. Not a good idea, but she'd love to be out there. The captains are meeting at midcourt right now. Do me a favor, if you're on the broadcast, uh, we cannot talk to you on the phone. We're using all, uh, all of our Internet, of course, uh, uh, to uh, get this broadcast to you tonight here on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Honored to have you on the broadcast here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. I'm Jack Ivey live for the Ivey Broadcasting Company. Once again, uh, it is Tishomingo County on the road tonight. We're about three and a half hours from Iuka, about three hours from where we left out down in the Red, Red Bay area today. But I got uh, Scott Webster with us here today. And, of course, we're excited about being to bring this game to you here today. All brought to you by Herman and Darrell Nunley at Nunley Truck Company. Also, Milligan Ready Mix, Old Highway 25 North. Chad and all the staff at Harwell Parts and Supply on our broadcast. Also, I want to thank Cornerstone Insurance, located at 107 South Fulton Street in Iuka. You can give them a call at 423-5921 for all your insurance needs. Stop by for a free quote. They do home, auto, and business insurance. Beth Dickerson is the branch manager, and thank you, uh, Beth, and all the staff at Cornerstone. Also, big shout-out tonight to Steve's Gun and Punch Shop in Tishomingo. They buy and trade used firearms. Steve Thorne, your owner there. Whether it's rifles, shotguns, handguns, we pay cash for your firearms. You can use a layaway on firearms. It's simple, 10 10 10 That's 10% down, $10 a month for the next nine months. Call Steve at 662-424-5105. Also, AMC Signs and Lighting, your local sign company and lighting company. You can call 901 831-7393. Thank you for making Tish County Lady Braves basketball possible here tonight. 
Also, a big shout out to Miguel and all the staff at El Picante Mexican Restaurant. Open every day, 11 in the morning till 10 at night. Dine in or carry out. Come and dine with us. And uh, they do a wonderful job. 1103 Battleground Drive is on a broadcast here tonight. I'm Jack Ivey once again with Scott Webster. Do me a favor. You can send us a little text. Uh, we probably may not be able to answer it, but uh, you know the number is 423. I want you to send me a message and let me know if you're watching and listening to the game tonight. And do me a favor. Share this link right now while you can. Our number, if you want to send us a message, is 662-423-7602. 662-423-7602. We're about 2 minutes and 11 seconds away on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Steve Bates and Randall Lindsay. Uh, Denise says we're sounding good on Facebook and uh, also WRMGradio.com tonight. down to a minute and 11 seconds. Now, once again, this is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Remember, uh, on the internet, uh, I wish I could say I could do something about it. I do not. It seems like it comes and goes. It'll kind of slow down a little bit, then it'll speed back up. So hopefully, it'll speed back up. Do me a favor, if you're able to watch or listen right now, if you want to send us a message and let us know you're listening to the game, listening to WRMG and Jack Ivey live here, our number is 423 423- 7602 423 7602. Today's game brought to you by Tiffin Motorhomes by Hometown Pizza and Burns. Well, thank you, Regina and James Smith, 662 uh, 360 4019, and also Explore Equidations. Big auction down in Fulton. Belmont Chiropractic, Dr. Chris Moss is on a broadcast here tonight since 1998. He's downtown Belmont, and of course, we appreciate the great job. We're going to listen to the starting lineups for tonight's ball game. All we have are the Chiefs office. And Choctaw Tribal Schools Athletics. We'd like to honor Dr. Fred Hickman, principal for Choctaw Central High School for these past eight years. Introducing so, the recognizing a token of appreciation presented on the principal here. The Chief's Office and the Choctaw Tribal Schools Athletic Department. So ladies and gentlemen, for his service. Dr. Hickman being recognized here tonight. Jack Ivey, Scott Webster live here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. We, if we had had good internet here tonight, we were gonna surprise you with instant replay. We're afraid if we hook up the instant replay that that's gonna cut into our uh, bandwidth, which we barely have enough to even think about streaming anyway. But uh, we're about to, ready to get this game underway here tonight. All brought to you by Geek Express at 1417 Battleground Drive in Iuka. You can call them at 423-9955. Business and residential repair. They got wired and networking phone system sales. And also they take care of all your rural wireless internet services and much more at Geek Express, 423-9955. Also Tri-State Crawfish and Catering, a big sponsor. Here's the starting lineups for the Braves here tonight.
race starting Madison Bennett tonight, Campbell Holly, Maura Nunley, Adney Floyd, and Katie Powers. Now the starting lineups for Chattaw Central. Well, there's your starting lineups. It's going to be loud in here tonight. I'm Jack Ivey, live for WRMG. Make sure you share this link right now so your friends can enjoy the game. Starter is uh, Ty, uh, uh, Tia Rain Saunders. They got uh, Kyla Farmer. They got uh, Lalela McMillan. They got uh, Shantasia John and Melanie Th Thames. And this young lady can play. Uh, starting lineups once again, Madison Bennett, Campbell Holly, Maureen Nutt, Adney Floyd, and Katie Powers. Braves will be in their blue tonight. And, of course, the ball club from Choctaw Central will be in their home white tonight. I'm Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. We are the Ivey Broadcasting Company. Well, we're underway. The tip controlled by Choctaw Central, and Choctaw Central will have the basketball. Saunders at the top of the key. She's being guarded there by number 30 uh, for the Lady Braves. And, of course, that is uh, Miss Katie Powers. Over to the right side, number two, Saunders back with it to 14. 14 is Thames. Now to the right side, she hangs on to now cross-court pass to number 10, McMillan. Braves. Backing off a little bit outside. Good ball movement as we're just underway. Back to the left side, McMillan. The long three-point shot, it's up and good. Leah McMillan knocks it down for a three-pointer. They come out with their very aggressive press that they put on, a big 2-2-1 press. The Braves have got it. Powers across the timeline. Mar Nunley. Nunley puts it up off the glass. No good. Ball going to be run down in the corner. And it's going to get out of bounds. And that's going to go to the Tish County Braves. Now the other official comes over to discuss it. And he's going to overrule that guy and give it to Choctaw Central. So Choctaw Central with a 3 to nothing lead here on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Choctaw Central. With the basketball on the left side, McMillan. She drives down to the baseline, and we're going to have a push-off foul. They're going to call that against the Braves, and Choctaw Central will have it underneath her on basket. Braves basketball, a production of Ivy Broadcasting. I'm Jack Ivy, Scott Webster. We're live tonight in Choctaw Central. They set up a three on the outside. Bennett did a good job getting back and defending that one. McMillan inside now they'll kick it out in the corner of the pass way too high intended for Shantasia John and it will be a turnover against the ball club from Choctaw Central here comes Adney Floyd with the ball down the court Adney handle that press good goes to Campbell Holly Holly a three in the corner off the back of the rim no good Nunley with the rebound Nunley works that ball left side raise basketball here on WRMG raise also uh, with, looks like Brianna Lowry into the ball game. Maybe I looked at that right there. Adney Foy's got her jersey. <laughs> She's got her jersey, I don't know, tucked in somewhere or another, and it's uh, number 21, and it shows a two on her back. So that's the reason it threw me off. Braves with the basketball as they turned it over again. And now we're going to have a whistle and a foul in the backcourt against Choctaw Central. Saunders is going to be charged with a foul. 
three to nothing. Choctaw Central leads Tish County. Tish County into Adney Floyd. Floyd drives down, pulls up, about a 10-foot jump shot off the back of the rim, no good. Number four, Farmer got the rebound for Choctaw Central. We're heading back to the other end of the court. Three nothing to score, Jack Ivey live here on WRMG. Don't forget, there are a lot of folks listening on WRMGradio.com. Three-point shot up and no good. Rebound to Adney Floyd. 5.30 to go, just feeling everybody out here early. Here's Tish County, Adney Floyd's not gonna stop. She drives all the way in and she is gonna be fouled by Farmer. She'll go to the line to shoot. Three to nothing the score right now and Tishomingo County is gonna to go to the free throw line. Free throw is up by Adney Floyd, it's up and good. And he makes it a three to one, and she makes the next one, makes it three to two. So she makes both free throws. And here come the Lady Braves with the ball down, or rather the Lady Ch Warriors with a the basketball. They work that ball right side, 14 teams. She'll back it out, Thames to the right side, to number 10, McMillan. Back to Thames at the top of the key. Now back to McMillan. It goes right through her hand and out of bounds. We've got a 3-2 ball game. Just in case you join us, we're on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. I'm Jack Ivey live for the Ivey Broadcasting Company. I've got to remember to put the score up there. Katie Powers, dribbling the ball on the right side. Back to midcourt to Bennett. Bennett wears number five off to Nunley. Nunley sees an opening to the basket, puts it up, and she is going to be fouled before the shot, I believe. That's going to be a guess number 10. McMillan is going to be charged with a foul. Come on, Lady Warriors, let's go! It is on the floor, so the Braves will inbound it with Adney Floyd. Floyd into Campbell Holly. Holly the long three. It's way long. Rebound. Saunders got it. And here comes uh, Choctaw Central with the basketball. Choctaw Central drives in, a little running shot. She runs over the Braves. Great job inside by Mara Nunley. And that's what you call a pre pottery taking a charge right there by Mara Nunley. And that foul is against number 14, Thames. And Chishamingo County will have the basketball. Bennett will bring it down. Bennett across the timeline, slows up, down in the corner. Adney Floyd drives in traffic, puts it up, it's no good. Rebound goes to Farmer of Choctaw Central. Thames runs down, she lost control of it. Braves wanted a double dribble, the official said no. Now they go by us for the left. Number two did that one. She made a fake on us and left us standing over the corner. Now it is a five. It's a uh, five to two ball game. Tishomingo County turns it over. Choctaw Central leads 5-2, now they turn it over. They had a long throw down the court intended for number 10 McMillan on the throw. Goes out of bounds, now we got a 30 second timeout. We have got a 30 second timeout, 5-2 the score. Jack Ivey live here for WRMG, Choctaw Central leading as we are in uh, Choctaw Central here. Don't forget Geek Express, let me give you that number, 423-9955. That, uh, of course, they're located at 1417 Battleground Drive. Also, Tri Street Crawfish and Catering, loading it, located in front of Piggly Wiggly. You want live crawfish by the sack? Small to medium size, only $3 a pound. They got those 40 pound sacks. Orders must be in by 12 noon each Thursday. Call or text 662 664 0140. That's Tri State Crawfish and Catering. Also, big shout out tonight to Nikki McTray. Good luck to the Braves from your second district supervisor. And also Piggly Wiggly in Red Bay, Belmont. And of course, right there in Iuka, Mississippi. H&R Block of Iuka, Red Bay, Fulton. Runny Cook, your modern woman agent. And also a big shout out today to Sitz Trading Company, your Branson dealer. We're back to action, the ball knocked out of bounds by Choctaw Central, Tish County will have it. You know, the Branson dealer, of course, is red, rugged, and reliable. It's available at Sitz Trading Company, 424-0025 in Iuka. And I also want to give you that number for Ronnie Cook, your modern woman agent, 662-423-8477. I'm Jack Ivey, live for WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. Adney Floyd drives in. 
She stepped out of bounds. 3.32 to go. First quarter action, five to two the score. Choctaw Central leading Tishomingo County. All brought to you by Daly's Body Shop. Mr. James Daly over in Burnsville by Ryan Properties. Thank you, Ms. Judy, your broker and owner. Long shot off the glass. Up and good by Choctaw Central. Number two got that one. at Saunders with the basket. She's got four in the game. And here come the Braves back down the court. Braves work that ball right side. Bennett lobs it in. Nunley's wide open, and it's up and good. So Nunley gets the basket. That'll make it 7-4. to four. Braves just got to be patient, play good defense, and, of course, that's what they did that time. And now we've got a whistle and an offensive foul away from the ball against Choctaw Central. We'll double-check that foul. It's 7-4, to 2.52 to go. Here for Crosby will check into the ball game. That foul was against uh, their big girl at 5'11", Farmer. That's her second foul. She'll have to check out of the ball game. Katie Powers to Bennett. Bennett near the circle at midcourt. Works it left side to Adney Floyd. No substitutions yet for the Braves here early. 2.40 to go. Katie Powers over the corner. They go back to Bennett. Bennett about a 15-footer or so from the free throw line on the corner. No good. Rebound, Choctaw Central. Coming up with it is Saunders. Saunders brings it down, goes to the corner to 13, John. John lobs it inside, now the ball loose. Braves have got a steal. Thanks to Bennett, teaming up with Holly. And here come the Braves down seven to four, 214 to go. Live in Choctaw Central. I'm Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12, TV 97. Thank you, Gina McNatch, your tax collector on our broadcast here tonight. Long three point shot by Nunley off the mark, too long. And here we go. And we got a holding foul against Adney Floyd. Seven to four, that foul against Adney Floyd will be her first foul. That's the second team foul against the Braves. They're open in the corner. They'll shoot a long three. It's up, it's no good. Braves kind of stood there and didn't get the rebound, and guess who came in and picked it up? Choctaw Central, number one, got that basket, Crosby. Crosby is a six-footer. She came in for a 5'11", to give you an idea height-wise. Nine to four the score. We're in a very, very vocal area here, and air ball for the Braves that time. Nine to four, with a minute 32 to go, Choctaw Central leading Tish County. All brought to you by your Tishomingo County Electric Power Association. Let me give you Miss Judy Ryan at Ryan Properties telephone number 662-279-2189. She's got all type of residential land properties, resort properties. She's been in it a long time. She knows what she's doing. Put your trust in Ryan Properties. Shot is up, it is no good. Tishomingo County with a rebound. Nunley got that one sitting down and was able to get it off. Big shout out to Hometown Pizza and I. You can now offer that crustless pizza, but more than that, folks, they're featuring that dine-in service, and you can pick up the window uh, for dine uh, for to-go orders only. But now you can sit down, steal, and that should be a foul there. It looks like she lowered her shoulder, but they're going to call a blocking foul against the Braves. Adney Floyd's going to be charged with a foul. So that basket will count. So, the, so number 13 got the basket. That makes it 11 to four, and Shantasia John got it. Braves gonna substitute for the first time tonight. Number 24 is checked in for the Braves. This is Jayla Brown. 11 to four, Choctaw Central, and the free throw is up good. They've done a good job against the Braves on the perimeter. We haven't been able to get those three-point shots that we normally get and make. Here comes the Braves. Shot is up good. Number 30 got it on the right wing. And that's Katie Powers getting her first basket of the game. Lady Braves basketball live on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. You're home for Braves sports, not only on internet, but on television, YouTube, Facebook. Shot is up no good. Bennett got the rebound for the Braves, 12 to six. Braves pushing it up the court. Bennett to the right side to Holly. Back to Bennett. 
Bend it on the right wing, sees penetration, and she is going to be held. And that will be the 16 foul against the ball club from Chattaw Central. So Chattaw Central will be charged with a foul. That's Shantasia John, her first foul. Braves will take it in. Nunley will take it in underneath her own basket. She got it into Powers. Powers, top of the key, right side to Bennett. Down to 14 seconds. Bennett drives it in. Back to Nunley. Nunley puts it up off the glass. No good. Brown got it. She tried to go up. No good. And she is fouled. And she'll go to the line to shoot. Braves will be in a one and one the rest of the first half. Is that right? Actually, yeah, I am correct. Yeah, that's a 17 foul. So the Braves will be in one and one. Only three fouls against the Braves, so it's going to be a while before Chantal Central. Come on, let's make these free throws. Jayla Brown's free throw is up. It's no good. If you're watching on Facebook and it's freezing up on you, you do, you do hear me? Uh, I have another link where you can listen to it live, and it's hopefully sounding awesome there. That free throw is up good. It's now 12 to seven. She makes one free throw, Jayla Brown. And that is gonna be the end of the first quarter. We'll catch you up. Let me make sure I'm let me get my scoreboard right right here. Y'all, I'm having to do some do everything else, but here we go. 12 to seven the score, 12 to seven. Shot tall central leading the Lady Braves. If you're honored on our broadcast today, an honor to have you here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. Jack Ivey Jr. said we're loud and clear on Mixler. Jack, you, you keep monitoring that for us as well. Live coverage on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Chattaw Central leading over Tishomingo County. The score is 12 to seven. Jack Ivey here along with Scott Webster. All made possible by Iuka Discount Drugs, Pharmacy. Chris Kadeuson, Kurt Butler, Lee Griffin. Pharmacy drive-in window, medication synchronization, great service all the time. 12 to seven, the score in the Braves. Campbell Holly turns it over. They're heading for a layup. It's up and no good, and a Braves foul. We apologize for the stomping. <laughs> if it shakes her camera, we apologize. And the free throw is up. It is no good, but number 14. That foul was against Maureen Nunley. That'll be her first foul of the game. 12 to seven. Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12, TV 97. We're also on WRMGradio.com. Hope it's sounding good wherever you're at. That free throw no good again. So the Braves get a break there. They miss both free throws. Bennett on the right wing, back to Nunley. Nunley to Katie Powers. Powers on the left wing. A little bit too far out. She drives in, stops, pulls it up, goes to Nunley. Nunley drives in traffic off the glass. Too hard, no good. Rebound goes to Choctaw Central. They're pushing it up. Number 10, left side. Long shot up and no good. Rebound goes to Choctaw Central. Number two, Saunders got it. Saunders down to the baseline. 14, a little reverse layup. It's up good. Thames got that one or times, I should say, I think it's actually the way it's pronounced. 14 to seven, and the Braves turn it over again. Going for the layup is Choctaw Central, and the Braves will have to get a timeout. So turnovers turn into four points quickly for Choctaw Central, and a game can get out of hand that way quickly against a good ball club like Choctaw Central. They lead the Braves by a score of 16 to seven. Thank you, Iuka Animal Clinic. Dr. James Perkins making the game possible tonight. He's located at Highway 25 South. Healthcare, grooming, boarding, and more. Call him at 423-3470. Once again, that's Dr. James Perkins on our broadcast here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. We do have a crew at Belmont tonight. Belmont and Aberdeen playing at Belmont. That game started when we did tonight. Today's game brought to you by Peyton Cummings, your chancery clerk on our broadcast tonight. 
Uh, who else we got? Big shout out to the folks at Cray Pottery, uh, MTS, formerly Mississippi 2 Supply, Gatlin's Pharmacy down in Tishomingo offering free delivery. They got those personalized prescription packs. Don't forget about the big time cost savings at the 340B uh, program that they have that's offering the best cost savings of anybody in the area. Gatlin's Pharmacy, Stanley Page and the staff in Tishomingo really appreciate your business. And also David Wayne Crum on the broadcast. We're about to get another five second call and we do. Katie Powers kept trying to find somebody open Kept waiting on somebody to come to her, and by the time they did, it was already too late, and that's a five-second call against the Braves. 16 to seven, Braves trail Choctaw Central here on WRMG. Do me a favor, if you're enjoying the broadcast, make sure you share it. Share this so your friends can enjoy the broadcast. Share it on your uh, Facebook page, share it on wherever, Twitter. Shot is up, no good. A missed shot there by number two, Saunders. Rebound goes to Tish County. They're bringing it up. Defense. Bennett drives to the basket. Off the glass, no good. Rebound, Jayla Brown. Jayla comes back to the basket. It's no good, and she's fouled. Rays basketball, a production of Ivy Broadcasting. Brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Boyce Hollingsworth. You can call Boyce at 423-5931. And you can see him for full service insurance, auto, home, life, health, retirement. Also big shout out to Rhonda and Lauren Nunley of Prey Pottery on the broadcast here tonight. They proud of these Lady Braves and the Braves on the great season. They proud to be able to be here tonight to support the Braves here in the second round of the North half. First was good by Brown. She'll have another one coming. It's up, it is good. So she makes both free throws. That will make it uh, 16, is that not supposed to be nine? They got 16 to eight. I'm gonna keep my nine up there for right now. I think that's what it's supposed to be. They take it down low, we knock it out of bounds. Braves basketball is a production of Ivy Broadcasting. 5.04 to go, we got a whistle and a made basket and another foul against the Braves is McMillan We'll get that basket. Eighteen now. They've still got us eight up there. I don't know. I'm, their free throw no good. We've got it. Eighteen to eight's what they've got. I've got eighteen to nine. I better change it, but I think I'm right. Powers drives in, shot is up, no good, and we're going to be on the top. And a foul, number 24 for the Braves is Briley Hill. Gonna be charged with a foul. I think I may have called her Jayla Brown a while ago. I apologize, that, that was Briley Hill made those free throws too. Y'all forgive me, Jayla Brown and Briley. 18 to eight the score. Briley Hill is number 24. I may be losing my brains here on the road. 4.29 to go, second quarter, Jack Ivey. Y'all don't have to come in on that one. I know I've already lost it. Three-point shot in the corner, no good. Braves, Mar Nunley comes out of nowhere with a rebound. Thank you, B&J Supermarket down in Burnsville on Highway 365 South. Savings, of course, seven days a week. We got a hold in foul. We're gonna go to the line to shoot one and one. That foul against number 10. I'm gonna go back and change it, and if they give us that point back later, you can say Jack Ivey told me so. Madison Bennett will go to the line. It's 18-8. to eight. It's what to get on the board. And let's see if Bennett can make free throws here, number five. Free throw on the one and one is no good. Here comes Chottaw down the court. Chottaw to the left. They'll shoot a long three. They got a 10-point lead. Shot up no good. Bennett with a rebound. Down to Campbell Holly. Holly takes it down to the baseline, pulls up, shot blocked. Riley Hill had the rebound, but they're on her back with a holding against number three. Johnson is going to be charged with the foul. Hopefully you're enjoying the broadcast. Our number, if you just want to send me a text, is 423-7602, 662-423-7602. Send us a message and let us know if you're enjoying the broadcast. Free throw is up by Briley Hill. It's up and good. 
Good job, Rana. Riley will have another shot coming here. It's up and good. Good job, Riley. That will. Did she make both of them? Well, they're only giving us one. They only give us one point that time. The last time they only gave us one when we made two. They gypped us out of a point a while ago, and now, they, now they're just going to give us one for this free throw, too. And now they put it up there. We, just, we didn't question that other one. Jack Ivey did. You know him. I think we're still being gypped a point right now. 18 to 10, the score. They was just giving one for making two free throws. 18 to 10, 350 to go. Live coverage here brought to you by Josh McNatch, your Tishomingo County Circuit Clerk. Oh, Jack Ivey Jr. back, and Denise is listening back there. They're monitoring our broadcast. Hopefully you are too and listening. And if you're listening right now, we'd love to hear from you. Send us a little text at 662-423-7602. They'll shoot a long three up in no good. Powers with a rebound. Come on, let's be patient and get us a basket this time. Driving in, off the glass, no good. Riley Hill with a rebound. Hill put it up, good. Nunley missed the shot. Briley Hill following up and put the rebound in. Good job, Briley Hill. She's been a big boost coming off the bench. 18 to 12. And the Braves get a steal. Katie Powers has got it. It's 18-12. Powers stops. Free throw line. Jump shot. No good. Rebound. Choctaw Central's got it. We're heading the other way. Choctaw Central shot. No good. We blocked it. Maura Nunley got it. Out to Powers. We got the advantage. And... Katie Powers walked with the ball and they didn't call it. Over to Bennett. Bennett shoots a shot in and out, no good. Rebound, Choctaw Central. They're pushing it up. Down to number 10. Now back to 13. Back to the top of the key and Saunders. Saunders drives down to the baseline. Kick out for a three. It's up and no good. They run down the rebound in the corner with Jimmy. Now to the right side, a long three. No good again. 18 to 12. The Blaze only down by six with 2.17 to go. Blaze basketball live on WRMG. Adney Floyd with the basketball, back to Bennett. Bennett pulls up a shot at the free throw line. It's up and good. Bennett makes it 18 to 14 as she gets her second, that's her first basket, 18 to 14. We're down by four playing Choctaw Central here at the reservation. And there's a layup as they go around the raise on the left side. That's Saunders. Somebody's going to have to favor her to the left side. She faked it to the right and won an hour left and went right on in, laid it up. It's 20 to 14. Braves are down by six. Floyd drives in, puts it up. Good. Not Floyd, but uh, Powers. Good job of Katie Powers. I'll get the score right here in a minute. It's 20 to 16, they drive in, they run over us. What a great job defensively there by Maura Nunley to take the charge. The score is 20 to 16, we've got the basketball. That was number 13 getting the foul, and that is her second. Adney Floyd drives all the way in, nobody picks her up. Abney Floyd with the basket. We're only down by two. It is now 20 to 18 with a minute three to go in the first half. Huge crowd here from Tishomingo County High School. A monster crowd, of course, you expect from Choctaw Central. Braves fans all right there behind the Braves bench in that uh, double section there. They go in, they go around Katie Powers for the layup. It's the same young lady this time. She's on the right side, getting her eighth point of the ball game. It's now 22, and there's going to be an offensive foul against Adney Floyd. Adney went in for the layup, and Adney put that elbow out, and the official right there saw it, and Adney just got her third foul of the game. Braves basketball, the Braves trail by 4, 22-18 with 36 seconds to go. I'm Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. 
Braves have brought in number two, Brianna Lowry into the ball game. They go by us and lay it up again with 20 seconds to go. That was number 14. Good move to the basket there for that young lady. That's times, 24 to 18, 13 seconds to go. Katie Powers. Powers pulls that ball back out with nine seconds to go. Powers, top key, four seconds now. Does she know how much time? Powers drives, tries to put up a shot, and is partially blocked, and that'll be the end of the first half. Choctaw Central. Central leads by a score of 24 to 18. 24 to 18 is your score. Jack Ivey, Scott Webster live here on WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. Once again, if you want to take a chance to let us know that you're listening to the game, uh, we're out here live on WRMG between TV 12 and TV 97. Ma'am, I does not have anything to do with resetting Facebook and all that stuff. Uh, remember, uh, anytime you're streaming, it's going to be a, a way behind here of what it's going to be there. And, of course, our Mixler app, is also uh, is faster getting to you than the other one, so there's no way to match it up. Uh, well, we hope you're enjoying it, and I, I wish I could do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna re redo it, but I can assure you that uh, our uh, stream that we do, uh, that we do our Mixler app on where you're actually listening, actually gets to you faster than a stream does because it uh, takes longer on the stream. So I'm gonna get me something to drink. We're at halftime. It's uh, 24 to 18, 24, 18. Choctaw Central leading, and the Braves had a pretty good first half. They're mopping the floor right now, going to get her ready for the second half. And uh, I have heard from the Bates man, uh, Belmont 35 to 10 at halftime against Aberdeen. And here we'll send, uh, we're going to send Braves, uh, we're going to send Bates a message down at Belmont. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast. Are you? Is everything sound okay? I know the video on the internet is not working because we knew that when we started. We told you that. And uh, but let me know how it's sounding where you're at right now. You got a good time to send us a message if you're listening. And uh, also, uh, we always love to hear from you and uh, let us know how it sounds like. It lets me know how many folks we got listening to our broadcast out there. I will tell you this: that we'll try to have it. Uh, and if you'd like us to send you a feed where you can actually watch it on a replay later. We'd be glad to do that. But uh, once again, uh, you need to let us know. Ten four. You, uh, live coverage here on WRMG, 24 to 18, eight minutes and 40 seconds to go. Live coverage from WRMG right now. We're gonna give you the uh, unofficial scoring for the first half for Tishomingo County. Then we'll tell you Ladies some more about our sponsors here in a minute. We would like to recognize uh, Madison Bennett with two Taylor. points. Mara Nunley with two. Adney Floyd with two. Uh, let's see, six points for Riley Hill. Uh, Katie Powers with two. Those are all unofficial. 24 to 18. Let's see, uh, Crosby with two, eight for Saunders. She's the one that's killed us. Macmillan's got five. Uh, looks like three for... Shantasia John and Melanie Times with two. You've done a good job on her. Our score at halftime is 24 to 18. 24 to 18. We're at halftime. Uh, I don't think I've even got the score right on TV here. Let me change that for you. Twenty-four to eighteen is the real score. And forward, Jack Ivey Jr. Cody, We're live tonight on WRMG. They're recognizing uh, maybe the cheerleaders. I don't know if it's a softball team or who they're recognizing tonight. And they're being recognized. They're calling all their names out. I want to thank Sonny Can I Yuka, your morning drink stop, of course, with the large drinks and slushies and teas, only 99 cents up to $1.49. That's from 6 in the morning to 11. And for a limited time, Carhop Classic Quarter Pound Double Cheeseburger and Tots or Crispy Tender Sandwich for only $2.99. By the way, 
Belmont, Iuka, and New Albany. Triple D's bucket service on our broadcast here tonight. Also, big shout out tonight to uh, Barney Brandon and Dusty Dick. They'll try to meet all your high reach needs at 662 279 7500. Also, Iuka Monument Company on the broadcast tonight, 423-3203 by Tennessee River Forestry. They're a proud sponsor of Bray Sports on WRMG. You can contact Joey Price. He is the buyer and seller of Timber and Timberland. Contact Joey Price, 662-279-3387. Also, Burnsville Tire, Ethan Morris, a big sponsor of the game tonight, home of lifetime free rotations with a purchase of Force Tires. You can call Ethan Morris at 427-9308. Also, big shout out tonight to Matt Guam in your Tishomingo County corner by Animals Choice Vet Clinic. That's Dr. Brad Nunley, Dr. Jennifer Tucker and the staff. They want to say best of luck to the Lady Braves. And of course, Dr. Brad Nunley and Lachey, their daughter out here is Mara, and they want to say good luck to Mara and all the Lady Braves here as they try to convince uh, these fans that uh, they're for real. And uh, they're going to have to pick it up a little bit here in the second half. Once again, right now they're down 24-18. Thank you, Mac Wyman, and your Tishomingo County corner on our broadcast. Also on our broadcast tonight is Nunley Trucking Company, Herman and Daryl Nunley. Also Milligan Ready Mix, Old Highway 25 North. You can call them at 423-6238. Also on our broadcast tonight is Harwell Parts and Service. Chad, thank you so much. 423-9892. Also, Cornerstone Insurance, located at 107 South Fulton Street in Iuka. You can give them a call at 423-5921. And uh, for all your insurance needs, stop by for a free quote. They do home, auto, business insurance. Thank you, Beth Dickerson. And she is the branch manager there at Cornerstone in Iuka. Also on a broadcast tonight is Steve's Gun and Pun Shop down in Tishomingo. They buy, sell, and trade used firearms. Steve Thorne, your owner there. You can use a layaway on firearms. It's really simple. We call it 10-10-10. 10 10% down, 10% a month. For the next nine months, you can call 424-5505. Also big shout out tonight to El Picante Mexican Restaurant on a broadcast. They're open every day 11 to 10. Also, AMC Signs and Lighting, your local sign and lighting company, 901-831-7393. Thank you, Mr. Moore, and all the great staff at AMC Signs and Lighting. Once again, your local sign and lighting company, you can call them at 901-831-7393. Also, big shout-out today to Tiffin Motorhomes in Iuka, Belmont, and Red Bay. Hometown Pizza in Burnsville. Don't forget about their open daily, 11 to 9. Monday through Friday, the lunch buffet from 11 to 1. And a Sunday buffet from 11 to 2. The buffet includes pizza, pasta, salad, and a drink. Dine in or carry out 662-360-4019. Regina James Smith over in Burnsville. And also over in Iuka, Mississippi. Also big shout out tonight to Explore Liquidations. A big giant auction coming up March 7th down in Fulton across from the Center Funeral Home. You don't want to miss it. Find furniture, tools, mattresses, luggage, household items, and much more. You'll say this is one of the best auctions you've ever been to. That is Explore Liquidations. We got several folks that are watching right now or listening, I should say. We're going to we're going to change our stream here. Y'all are going to lose me a minute if you're watching video, but uh, come right back on with me. But once again, we got about three minutes before we start the second half. And... Do me a favor, if you're listening right now to TCHS Sports, I'm Jack Ivey Long with Scott Webster. Do me a favor. Uh, if you don't do me another favor tonight, only, well, you may have already done it. Don't you to do it again. I want you to share this link so we can get more folks listening. Um, we might even get old Jack Jr. and Denisa to share it back at Control Center. Might get you that are listening out there. So if you're enjoying our broadcast, please do me a favor. Share this link right now, and uh, we surely would appreciate it. Once again, our... Uh, if you want to share it, uh, if you'll do that, we'll thank you very, very, very much. Once again, it's 24 to 18, our score 24 to 18. Live coverage here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. I want to congratulate uh, Mr. Connor Buns today. Connor, of course, signed in to play baseball with Northeast Mississippi Community College. Everybody's so happy for Connor. He does a wonderful job in any sport that he does. And I want to personally thank uh, Connor for all his fun he's been for us being able to do the broadcast over the years. 
Connor, thank you so much. You're doing a wonderful, wonderful job, and we really appreciate it. And congratulations on signing with Coach Richie Harrison on those world-famous uh, Northeast Tigers, that new facility over there. Isn't it awesome? Do me a favor if you're listening to our broadcast right now and you've not shared it, it would be a really, really good time. Uh, we've got more folks uh, listening, but if, you, if you'll share it right now, we surely wouldn't have it. We're going to share it uh, to another place right here. To you may have some other places you want to share it that we can reach some more people. Once again, the score is 24-18. Who's going to get the ball the second half? I don't. I can't see the arrow on who's going to get it. And you folks that are sharing it, thank you so much. Uh, if everybody would share it, I would even like you a bunch more, okay? Thank you, Miss Salon, Ms. Salon Williams. Uh, we're excited about being here. Thank you, Miss Melissa White Johnson, Sophie Ham, Gene Hester, uh, Jerry Dale Gray, thank you. Uh, Jimmy Bragwell, Melissa uh, Rass, uh, at Pounders out there, Jeannie Taylor, Trey Johnson, Ricky Long, thank you. Melissa White Johnson, Sheila Pfeiffer, Rhonda Floyd. Uh, Brooke Nunley, Denise Ivey out there tonight, Dustin Mitchell, Jody Ferris, thank all you folks that are sharing it. Y'all share it right now and we'll thank you a bunch, okay? We're back to action. And the ball loose on the floor, the Braves have got it. And I believe she may have got a timeout for the Braves. So the Braves get it and uh, we'll have possession of the basketball, but we're gonna have to burn a timeout. 24 to 18, y'all hold on just a minute. Thank you, Tri-State Crawfish and Catering, located in front of Piggly Wiggly. They're open Friday and Saturday. I didn't know how many people like crawfish. I, I would love to have some crawfish etouffee. Uh, I don't know, my wife says, you gotta be kidding. Boy, a lot of folks love it. Well, guess what? You can get small to medium crawfish, $3 a pound. And those are the big 40 pound sacks. You can get them uh, on Friday and Saturday. But if you want to order them, you got to do it by 12 o'clock. Got to do it by 12 on Thursday. You can call or text 662-664-0140. 662-664-0140. Thank you, Coach. Don't forget our friends at Geek Express. I know you folks are having computer problems, internet problems. Don't mess with it yourself. Call Geek Express, 423-9955. They are your computer and technology experts. Yes, they'll come to your house. You can bring your computer there. They go on location every single day somewhere. Geek Express is your business in our store, at your place. It doesn't matter. We'll take care of it. Here come the Braves. Thank you, Geek Express, and also Dr. Chris Moss at Belmont Chiropractic, practicing since 1998. Driving in, layup is up and good for the Lady Braves. Guess who got it? Number 30, Katie Powers got that one. 24 to 20 is your score. They kick it out in the corner, they been shot tall center, the long shot, no good. Braves, Katie Powers with a rebound. Braves doing a good job of uh, blocking out. Now, when somebody else blocks out, sometimes they back in their man out. Somebody else has got to go get that basketball if they've blocked it out, and that's exactly what we did then. Driving in Bennett, and Bennett is going to be tied up. They had a hand on the ball, and the official said, and the arrow will be going in favor of Tishomingo County, so that's, that's good. Thank you, folks, that have shared it. Uh, remember, I wish we had better internet here, but we don't, so we're doing the best we can with what we've got. Dish County Braves turn that ball over. Hit somebody's foot, and they picked it up. They've taken it down the floor. They'll pull up on the right elbow. Pull up, jump shot, good. John got that one. Her fifth point of the ball game is now 26 to 20. Shot tall, central leading. Belmont was the leading big at halftime, and now Martin Nunley has turned that ball over, and we're going to get another jump. We turned it over and we reached in and tried to tie it up. We did, but the arrow pointing in favor, so we end up losing possession of the basketball. 26 to 20, the score, 26 to 20. 6.38 to go in the third quarter, live from Chottaw Central, all the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Right side, the long three, it's up, it's no good. Shot up and no good, rebound goes to Briley Hill. 
Riley came off the bench and Adney Floyd has got three fouls. She started tonight. Riley Hill came in and Riley gave us a spark from the scoring standpoint. Nunley's open. She'll drive all the way in, put it up off the glass, in and out, it rolled all the way of the rim and fell out. She did what she was supposed to do. She put it up off the glass, still rolled off. Left elbow shot, no good. Guess who got the rebound? Mar Nunley's got it. And they're gonna get her with a walk. I thought somebody reached in and knocked it out of bounds, which they did, but they got Mar Nunley with a walk. And now we're down by six points. The Braves are gonna bring uh, Mar Nunley out. Adney Floyd will check back into the ball game. Now remember, she's got three fouls. Live coverage here, don't forget Animal's Choice Vet Clinic. Dr. Brad Nunley and all the staff making this game possible here tonight on WRMG. They take it in the lane, shot up no good. Rebound tipped around, they've got it. They'll bring it back out and set it up. They work it left side, number two. That time Powers cut her off. They take it inside number four, her turnaround shot good. We got her in foul trouble early and she had to leave the ball game. Now she's back in, remember she's got two fouls. Adney Floyd drives to the baseline, pulls back, jump shot, no good. Rebound on the backside, goes to McMillan, and we're going the other way. They lead 28 to 20, they take it inside. Number four, Farmer again gets the easy basket. So she's come in and got two quick baskets here in the third quarter, and now the Braves turn it over on the inbounds in Bennett. Bennett's put her hand up like, what did I do? Nunley back into the ball game. Adney Floyd will check out, and we're down by 10. 30 to 20 is her score. How's the broadcast sound where you at tonight? Hopefully it sounds good. It's awful loud right here where we at. We got their number one fans from Choctaw Central around us. Choctaw Central will take it in. Saunders will take the ball in. Oh, that girl's wide open. Nobody on her. She made it late in. They had a great inbounds play to McMillan. Seven for her. We're down by 12. We got to get on the stick right here. Nett Bennett drives in, and now they're going to charge an offensive foul against Bennett. I disagree with that one. That was definitely, that was definitely a blocking foul. Nobody on the Tish County side agreed with it. I can assure you that. 32 to 20. Adney Floyd will check in. Campbell Holly will check out. 5:04 to go. 32 to 20. We're in the third quarter with 5.04 to go. Live coverage here on WRMG with Jack Ivey. Thanks to all of our great sponsors. Thank Nikki McCray on the broadcast tonight. Your hometown, Piggly Wiggly, h and Block, uh, Viuca, Belmont, Red Bay, and where else we got? Fulton, Mississippi, many locations. Long shot up, three-pointer up and no good. Maura Nunley with a big rebound for the Braves. Thank you, Sid's Trading Company. Ronnie Cook, your modern woman agent on our broadcast tonight. Big shout out to Daly's Body Shop. Judy Ryan at Ryan Properties on our broadcast. 32-20, Braves, Abney Floyd to Bennett. Bennett, top of the key, drives down the middle of the lane, little running shot, in and out again, no good. Riley Hill got it. Riley tried to turn around, put it up, and they said she stepped out of bounds. Big shout out tonight to Gatlin's Pharmacy. Also State Farm Insurance, uh, Boris Hollingsworth by Prey Pottery. Thank you, Rhonda and Lauren. B&J Supermarket, Josh McNatt on our broadcast here tonight. Big shout out to Tennessee River Forestry with Joey Price. Also Sonic of Iuka Belmont in New Albany. Your morning stop, I say morning, midday, afternoon, a great stop at Sonic is always the right time. Thank you, John, and all the staff. And we got a whistle and a blocking foul against Tishomingo County. So thanks to Sonic, Iuka Belmont, New Albany, Triple D's Bucket Service, Iuka Monument Company once again. Thank you, Joey Price, Burnsville Tire, Mr. Ethan Morris, Mac Wilm in your Tishomingo County corner, Dr. Brad Nunley and Dr. Jennifer Tucker at Animals Choice Vet Clinic at 423-2686. That foul against Adney Floyd, I got you bad news. That is her fourth foul, she'll check out. Campbell Holly will check back in. We're down 33 to 20. If the Braves could pull this one off, they'd be in the quarterfinals, that free throw good. They would be in the quarterfinals up at Mississippi Valley over at Abena. And yes, we'll be there covering it live for you here on WRNG. Bennett, free throw line, and she is gonna be fouled by Choctaw Central. 
So the Braves will play at side court. Today's game brought to you by Ryan Properties. Thank you, Miss Judy Ryan, your broker. Residential land and resort properties are available right now. 279-2189 at Ryan Properties at Iuka. Thank you, Judy. She's located 109A East Quitman in Iuka. This lady knows what she's doing when it comes to property. Powers, shot up to good. Good spin move by Katie Powers to get the basket. Boy, a much needed basket for the Braves. We gotta make some stops on the other end. Doesn't matter how many you're scoring on that other end if you can't stop them. 34-22, 34-22. They've got the ball at the top of the key. They'll work that ball right side to number two. That is Saunders. Saunders kicks it out in the corner. They'll shoot a three on the left side. Good. Number 10 knocked that one down. That's McMillan getting her second three. She's got about 10 in the game, and boy, that was a killer right there. Now the Braves have got a timeout, but what did they call over in that corner? I'm hoping we got the timeout. Braves got a timeout. Well, appreciate you folks that are sharing this link. We're down 37 to 22 with 301 to go. And this third quarter has not been good to the Lady Braves. We are, let's see, they have scored uh, 13 points and we've scored four here in the third quarter. That's not good. Hey, I want to say hello to um, Coach Bill Smith's son, Andy Smith. He's listening down in Florida. He watches us on YouTube all the time. And WRMG, thank you. And, of course, Coach Bill Smith said he watches us all the time. Thank you, Mr. Bill. Thank you, uh, Tishomingo County Electric Power on our broadcast. Who's excited about getting the Internet to everybody in Tishomingo County? You're going to have another little form to fill out to finalize this thing, and they're going to get her going. What about Gina McNatt, your tax collector? Hometown Pizza and Iuka and Burns. Well, don't forget uh, featuring dine-in services and a pickup only window. This is call-in orders now. You can't order at the window, so if you call in an order, you can go through the drive-thru and pick it up. 662-593-3036. Home owned, home operated, your hometown pizza. Give Brittany and the crew a call, and they'll get it ready for you. 662-593-3036, and tell them Jack Ivey sent you. Thank you, Iuka Discount Drugs on a broadcast. Northeast Mississippi Community College. Also Peyton Cummings, your chancellor clerk. Iuka Animal Clinic, Dr. James Perkins, and also Brad's Auto Alignment down in Tishomingo, 438-6667. They do brake work at well. They do welding, front end alignment. Braden is awesome. There's Powers driving in the lane, shot up off the back of the glass, and it's up and good for Katie Powers. Powers, only one scoring right now. We got to get somebody hot. 37 to 24, as Powers I think has got eight points unofficially for the Lady Braves. We're down 37 to 24. Lady Braves basketball with Jack Ivey at Choctaw Central. We've got Scott Webster on our camera this evening. And we have got a whistle and a foul against Bennett. We're going to have a push off against Bennett. Thank you, David Wayne Crum. Thank you, Gatlin's Pharmacy. Stanley Page and the staff, 438-6605. Let them see how much money they can serve you. And don't forget, they order, uh, they deliver free. Long three-point shot, no good. Riley Hill's got the rebound. They were all over Riley in there, and Riley finally able to get it out of there. So don't forget they deliver Northeast Mississippi, Northwest Tennessee, and also Southwest Tennessee, Northeast Mississippi, Northwest Alabama, as the Braves turn it over. And I'll tell you what I like is that personalized prescription packs. Let's say you got an elderly person, it doesn't matter, and they take a lot of medicine. They put it all in one pack, and they know exactly that's their dose for morning. This dose for midday, this night. Uh, it's awesome. This, they package it for you. Now we got to walk against uh, Choctaw Central. We're going to get the ball back. Ask them about it down at Gatlin's Pharmacy, home of Tishomingo County's best cost saving program, their Tishomingo County's 340B Pharmacy, offering patients hundreds of dollars in savings. Bennett, double team to the backcourt, finally gets it across the timeline. Now we've got an advantage. Powers on the left side, kicks it back to Hill. 37 to 24. And now Nunley turns it over. Stolen away by number two, Saunders. Saunders puts it up, no good. They got the rebound and put it back up good. Number 14 got it. She brought that uh, ball around in front of her. And uh, some people, you can get away with that. 
Uh, not that young lady there. She reached in and stole it, and they ended up taking it down and ended up in the basket. Now the Braves turn it over again. They're going for another layup. It's up and good. They lead 41 to 24. I can't get it caught up in time. One minute to go in the third quarter. Mar Lundley drives in traffic, has the ball stripped away, but she got it back. Kicked it back out to Powers. Powers on the right side. Second round of the North Half Tournament. The winner here goes to Mississippi Valley in the quarterfinals. That's a long way to the finals, folks, I'm telling you. You've got to beat some good teams to get there, and it all started right here tonight after we beat Gentry. You've got to beat Choctaw Central. Bennett, the three. In and out, no good. Rebound, their big girl, uh, Farmer, got it. And they quickly get down on the court. They go for a layup. It's up and good. Number 14 got it. That's times. I think that will make it 43 to 24. 20 seconds to go. Bennett, top of the key, right side to Nunley. Nunley shoots the long three. It's up good. You know, Nunley, they have uh, makes the three after the first one of the night. We haven't been shooting any threes. We had not gotten any threes. They go in for another layup. We don't stop them. Number two got it, and the buzzer sounds. That's Saunders getting her 10th point of the ball game. I think it may be 12. 45 to 27. We have given them some really, really easy baskets. I'm talking about really easy baskets there in the third quarter. Let me, let me go back. They scored 21 points in the third quarter. They're giving away free T-shirts here to the fans. They scored 21 points in the third quarter. We scored nine. Wow. I'm going to get me a drink of the water and check to make sure I hadn't got any issues that I need to know about. But uh, the biggest issue we got right now is the Braves are, are coming up on the short end of the stick. Belmont leads 54 to 24 at the end of the third quarter. So the Cardinals rolling against Aberdeen. So Chattal Central leading. Thank you. Forty-five to twenty-seven. Forty-five twenty-seven. Well, they've won a lot of state championships here. Are we still sounding good back at home? I wish I had you better news. Powers drives around, puts it up off the glass. Good. Good job by Katie Powers. And that will make it uh, 45 to 29. And they take it down low, put it up. Good. Number 10 got it that time. McMillan, she's got 3, 5, 7, 10, about 12 in the game. Powers at the top of the key, dribbles over to the right side, takes it down to the baseline, pulls up jump shot, it's short. Rebound goes to McMillan of Choctaw Central. Long throw down the court. They try to take it in traffic, the layout up no good. Briley Hill, I thought, had it. Then number four took it away, and Hill's got it back again. Good job of Briley Hill down low. We gotta be shooting some threes right now. We're down 47 to 29. Need to free some of these three-point shooters up, like Nunley up, try to get her open for the three. Powers drives in, runs in. They're going to get a blocking foul against their big girl inside. That is uh, Kyla Farmer getting the foul. That'll be her third foul. I'm Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. We are the Ivy Broadcasting Company as Katie Powers will go to the line. Today's game brought to you by Josh McNatt, your circuit clerk, B&J Supermarket, by State Farm Insurance, Boris Hollinsworth, Pre Pottery, thank you, Rhonda and Lauren. Also, don't forget Animal's Choice Vet Clinic, Dr. Brad Nunley, and, of course, Dr. Jennifer Tucker. Also, Sonny Kavayuka, Burnsville Tire on a broadcast, Triple D's Bucket Service, and the free throw, no good, by the Braves. It's still 47 to 29, 47 to 29. Six minutes and 30 seconds to go. 
They work that ball left side, number three into the ball game right now. That's Johnson. Back out to midcourt. Setting her offense up right here with number 10, McMillan. McMillan works that ball right side down to the baseline, Johnson. She's cut off over there. She'll kick it back out to 13, John. The long three, good. Shantasia John knocks down the long three. And that will make it 48. Make it, uh, I'm sorry. That makes it 50 to 29. Nunley shoots a three on the left side, up and no good. Rebound goes to Chautau Central with 5.51 to go. And a turnover, and Briley Hill has got it. Hill, double team, waits on help, goes to Nunley. Nunley, top of the key, goes right side. Campbell Holly shoots the long three. It's up and good, Campbell Holly. That's Campbell's first basket of the night. And I was talking about Nunley, you know, she got, uh, I think she's only got five in the game. You know, she's normally getting a lot more than that. Three-pointer to the corner. My Choctaw Central is up good. That makes it 53 to 32 as John got another three in the corner. Riley Hill down to Campbell Holly. Holly another three in the corner. It's up, it's good. Campbell Holly has made two threes in a row. Good job, Campbell. Campbell, a senior on this ball club, 53-35. We'll get her score right here for you at home. I'm having to do that when I get a chance. They shoot another long three in the corner up, no good. Rebound tipped out. Briley Hill's got it for the Lady Braves to Nunley. 53-35, 4.43 to go. Nunley right down the middle of the lane, and Nunley is going to be fouled. Tishomingo County trailing 53-35, 53-35. Honored to have you on the broadcast. Hope you've enjoyed it. I wish we could have you some better news. Thank you, uh, Joey Price at Tennessee River Forestry, proud sponsor of Ray Sports tonight. You can call Joey, 279-3387, the buyer of timber and timberland. As Nunley's free throw is up good. What about Iuka Monument Company? 423-3203, uh, highest quality, reasonable prices. Big shout out. Once again today to Nunley Trucking Company, Herman and Darrell, as we have got one more free throw for Nunley. Come on, Mara Nunley, free throw good. That'll make it 53 to 37. And number two of the basketball, working that ball left side. Back out to Saunders. Saunders now to number 30. That's Jimmy into the ball game. Her name is Melanian Jimmy. Four minutes and 17 seconds to go. Choctaw Central looking to advance up to, we don't know for sure who they'll play. I, I'm thinking that uh, what happens to the other is now we got a foul against Bennett. And I don't know who's gonna win and not, I'm just, I was looking at the bracket and I thought, well, you get a pair, you're probably going to play Pontotoc unless Pontotoc gets upset or whatever. But uh, you're always looking ahead a little bit. And if you're still listening to our broadcast, that is the third foul against Bennett. We're going to take it in. We're going to tie that ball up. And the error pointing in favor of Choctaw Central. Belmont leading 54 to 24, 54 24 after three against Aberdeen and Belmont tonight. So Belmont going to advance to uh, the quarterfinal down at ICC. We'll be there covering the Cardinals. Three point shot by Nunley. No good. Campbell Hollow the rebound. She'll back up in the corner and shoot a three. A rim no good. Powers got it down the middle of the lane. Her shot is up no good. It's out of bounds, and this time it's going to go the other way. Honored to have you on the broadcast here tonight. Wish we had you better news. We had, uh, we would, we had thought about, uh, they charge you a lot more to do it Facebook Live, and uh, we had thought about doing the Belmont game and Tish County tonight, but Belmont game's at home, so most people could go there, so we're just doing it live, audio, and it's on radio and internet. 
People can listen to it on TV as well. So we decided to do this one tonight since it was the farthest away. And there's a drive in. And number 14 got an easy basket there. That is Times getting her 10th point unofficially. It's now 55 to 37. We'll do whatever we can to do that uh, game at the quarterfinals live for you. There's a long three-point shot by the Braves. No good. Nunley couldn't get that one to fall. Campbell Holly will check out of the ball game as Riley Hill will check back in. Two minutes and 58 seconds to go. Live coverage here today brought to you by Milligan Ready Mix. Chad and all the staff at Harwell Parts on a broadcast. Cornerstone Insurance. Long throw down the court. They beat us back. And number 3-0 gets an easy layup. That's a Millennium Jimmy. She is a senior on this ball club. 57 to 37 is your score. Powers in the lane. Shot up. Good. Katie Powers gets a basket. Now Tish County wants a timeout. Powers has got at least a dozen. And now let me get this other point up here for the Braves. 57 to 39, 57 to 39. We only got 233 to go. I was going to tell you that um, as far as games in our community, Monday, the Red Bay boys are going to be playing in the final four for the first time ever, I'm told. And they'll be playing at 7.30. We'll be on the air at 7 o'clock with a pregame show. They're going to be playing Calhoun. Uh, you'll be able to listen to that game on WRMGRadio.com, 97.9, TV 12, TV 97. We'll have it before we listen to it everywhere. Just make sure you listen to the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Once again, it'll be the uh, Belmont, uh, rather the Red Bay Tigers and Calhoun. That'll be Monday night. Next Friday, we'll have Belmont in the third round or the quarterfinals. That'll be at ICC. Belmont winning big tonight, so Belmont has punched their ticket to go down to ICC. I don't know who they'll play. I'm predicting Louisville, and we'll be on the air. That game, I think, is at 7 o'clock at night, but I don't know that for sure. And uh, Red Bay boys, if they win, will be playing for a state championship uh, on that Friday morning at 10.30. So we'd be down there for the morning game and then down for the Belmont game that night at ICC. 57-39, to 39, the Braves trying to make a stop on defense. Number two, Saunders, who's played a really good game for the ball club. Gonna milk a little clock right here, 57 to 39. 2.06 to go, shot up by number 14, no good. Adney Floyd with a rebound. Floyd, now lobbing it inside to Briley Hill. Hill lost control of it a little bit and we're gonna have a jump error going back to Tish County. 57 to 39 is the score. Once again, if you've enjoyed the broadcast tonight, make sure you thank uh, Miss Beth Dickinson, or Dickerson, I should say, the branch manager at Cornerstone, 423-5921. That's Cornerstone Insurance in Iuka. And Choctaw Central's got the back. Steve's gun and punch shot down in Tishomingo. Rifle, shotguns, handguns. He pays cash if you want to sell your firearms. Also, AMC. Sign and Lighting, your local lighting and sign company, 901-831-7393. They're going to try to milk this last 125. Braves hustling big time. Once again, that's AMC Signs and Lighting, a big sponsor tonight, and thank you so much. Shot is up, no good. A big shout out to El Picante Mexican Restaurant. Explore liquidation auction down in Fulton, and a layup by Katie Powers. Good job, Katie. Katie playing her last game as a senior for the Braves here tonight. 57 to 41, and the Braves uh, commit a foul. And that's going to be against Adney Floyd, and she just fouled out of the game. Appreciate your hometown pizza in Burnsville and Iuka. Mar Nunley will check out of the ball game as well. We're down to 54 seconds. They take it in, shot no good. Powers with a rebound. Braves a long three-point shot. He's up, it's no good. Uh, end of the ball game for the Braves. That was Campbell Holly. 
into the Braves for his number 15, Ashley Booker. And they get a... And I'm not sure who got that basket, but they got another one. And now there's a timeout. I think that was Farmer. That was, uh, that was, I think, I don't know. I think I said Farmer, but uh, it doesn't matter. You can look at the stats later, 59 to 41. Uh, once again, thank you for joining us. Thank you, a hometown pizza once again, Burnsville and Iuka. Belmont Chiropractic, Dr. Chris Moss, your hometown chiropractic specialist. You folks in Iuka, you know it's, you know him uh, as good as I do. It's worth the drive down to see him. He's been there since 1998. Dr. Moss, he does a wonderful job in downtown Belmont. He appreciates your business. Come see him. Geek Express, thank you so much. Uh, in your business or right there in our store, Computer Sales and Service, 1417 Battleground Drive in Iuka, 423-9995. Business and residential repair, wired networking, phone system sales. He also takes care of your rural, rural wireless internet service, your computer and technology experts at 423-9955. The ball out of bounds and with 25 seconds to go, Choctaw Central will have it. They got a lot of new girls in the ball game. Thanks once again to Tri-State Crawfish and Catering. They take it down low to number 12, and she got her an easy basket. You know, they're there on Friday and Saturday. Don't forget, if you want some of those crawfish, $3 a pound for 40-pound sacks, you need to let him know, either calling or texting by lunch on Thursday, 662-664-0140. Braves put up a shot, we're down to three seconds, and folks, this game is over. We're gonna lose it by a score of 61 to 41. That's gonna be your final score. 61 to 41. The second half was too much for the Lady Braves as their season comes to a close here tonight against Choctaw Central. So the season comes to a close. I'm not, I don't know exactly how accurate the uh, Max Preps roster is for Tish County, but uh, I know Katie Powers, a senior on this ball game, looks like Briley Hill, uh, Campbell, uh, Campbell Holly, a senior on the ball club. I believe that's the only three that they have listed right here. If it's one or not, uh, hats off to these young ladies. They've done a wonderful job. They got uh, a great future in ahead of them. I can assure you that. And. Uh, once again, it's been an honor to bring all of these games. We've done a ton of them this year, and we appreciate uh, your support. Thank you for sponsoring the games. We are going to do some baseball and softball. It all depends on how many games we do and how many sponsors we get. So if we get a lot of sponsors, we'll do a lot of games. Remember, if we don't have very many, we can't do many. So you, if you're a business or know someone who is, make sure you tell them, hey, make sure you sponsor Jack Ivey so they'll do a lot of baseball and softball. Once again, the Choctaw Central Warriors leading the Braves and winning tonight 61 to 41, 61 to 41. And once again, thank you, uh, Nikki McCray, Piggly Wiggly, H&R Block, Ronnie Cook, your modern woman agent, Sitch Trading Company, home of those uh, Skag mowers and, and uh, Kiati tractors. Big shout out to Daly's Body Shop, James over in Burnsville, Judy Ryan at Ryan Properties, Tishomingo County Electric Power, Gina McNatch, your tax collector. Braves lose it tonight, 61 to 41. Hometown Pizza in Iuka and Burnsville. Also Iuka Discount Drugs, Northeast Mississippi Community College, Iuka Animal Clinic, Dr. James Perkins, by Peyton Cummings, your chancellor clerk, Brad's Auto Alignment in Tishomingo, David Wayne Crum, your tax assessor, by Gatlin's Pharmacy, MTS, State Farm Insurance Agent, Boyce Hollingsworth, by Runda and Lauren Nunley at Prey Pottery, B&J Supermarket in Burnsville by Josh McNatch, your circuit clerk, Sonny Cavayuca, Belmont in New Albany. And don't forget your morning drink stop, large drinks, slushes and teas are 99 cents to $1.49. That's from 6 to 11. Triple D's Bucket Service, Iuka Monument Company, Joey Price at Tennessee River Forestry by Burnsville Tire, Ethan Morris, Mac Wom in your Tishomingo County Corner by Animals Choice Vet Clinic, Dr. Brad Nunley, Dr. Jennifer Tucker, you can call them at 423-2686. By Milligan Ready Mix, by Chad and all the staff at Harwell Park, Cornerstone Insurance, Miss uh, Beth Dickerson. You can call her at 423-5921. Steve's Gun and Pun Shop in Tishomingo, AM Signs and Lighting, thank you. 
El Picante Mexican Restaurant. And also, don't forget about Explore Liquidations, big auction uh, on our broadcast. The final score, the Braves lose to the ball club from Choctaw Central, 61 to 41, 61 to 41. And Choctaw Central will move on. The Braves season comes to a close here tonight. And uh, I think it's in Neshoba County. Honored to have you on the broadcast tonight. Uh, I want to say how much we appreciate uh, everybody that's been a part of our broadcast tonight, all you folks that's been listening. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll give you a chance. If you'll send me a text, I'll send you a link, and I'll send you a link where you can actually watch it, okay? Uh, that'd probably be tomorrow before I could do that, but you've got to send me your information, uh, telephone number, and I'll text it to you where you can actually watch the game because uh, we didn't we were unable to do it good on Facebook Live as you know because of the internet. Once again the final score 61 to 41. Congratulations to y'all. Congratulations to y'all. Nice meeting y'all. And once again uh, y'all come back and visit. we appreciate y'all. Thank y'all, y'all for being nice to us. Thank you. 61 to 41 your final score. Great hospitality here at Chautauqua Central High School. And once again, for the entire staff and management of WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97, I'm Jack Ivey saying thank you for joining us here on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Once again, we are the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Uh, they finally took that score down, but we got it on the screen for you. But once again, your final score is 61 to 41, Choctaw Central uh, winning. And I was going to see if, uh, before we get out of here, I'm thinking uh, Steve probably has got a final. Belmont wins tonight over Aberdeen. Uh, the final score there was 64 to 30. Belmont winning uh, once again uh, over Aberdeen. Belmont will advance, and they will play down at Etowamba uh, next Friday. Once again, the final score here, 61 to 41. Belmont wins once again, 64 to 30 up in Belmont against uh, Aberdeen tonight. For Scott Webster. Jack Ivey Jr., Denise, and all the staff at WRMG, Steve Bates, everybody that's a part of the broadcast, Randall, Byron, thank you all so much. We're going to say good night. May God bless you. We'll see you next time right here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. And good night for Braves basketball. <laughs>